Now we're going to issue bonds at a premium, which means we receive more than $1,000 for each bond, probably because our bonds are paying a high interest rate. So in this example, we issue or sell $100,000 of 8% 10-year bonds at 104. The 104 is the price. It means we sold the bonds at 104% of maturity value. To journalize the transaction, we have to debit cash since cash is increasing. The bonds have a maturity value of $100,000, and we multiply that by 104%, or 1.04. That means cash increases by $104,000. Even though we received $104,000, we only have to pay the full maturity value of $100,000 when the bonds mature. So we have to increase a liability account called bonds payable by $100,000. Now the transaction doesn't balance. The balancing amount will go in an account called premium on bonds payable. The dollar amount that balances the transaction is a credit of $4,000. Premium on bonds payable is a companion account to bonds payable. Before we find out what happens to this new account called premium on bonds payable, let's do a homework demonstration of issuing bonds at a premium.